So, what does ambroxan smell like is a question I've been asked quite a bit on this channel and also received as emails. And today, as my question answer video, we're going to learn what ambroxan smells like or what ambroxan is. So if you want to find out what ambroxan is and what it smells like and learn about five ambroxan heavy fragrances, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time tuning into my channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, and uh, learning about certain notes and topics in perfumery, and also participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So if you have any ideas or want to learn something specific in relation to perfumes, fragrances, and all that good stuff, you can always send me uh, an email to lfsgquestions at gmail.com and there when I receive them I read them and I'm sorry I don't respond to every single one of them as I just don't have the time and I receive a lot of questions not only there but also in Facebook on YouTube and uh, other email addresses I have Instagram so I'm I'm going to see if, if there's a, a topic that's been asked multiple times and then I am doing videos on those topics before I do ones that are just asked once. So just be patient and sooner or later I'll do a video about the topic you're curious to find out about. And this is one that I received a lot about and it is what does ambroxan smell like. So what does it smell like? So first of all, ambroxan is a synthetic note discovered in the 1950s and it was to replace the use of the very, very expensive note of ambergris. And if you don't know what ambergris is, and that deserves a separate video, but ambergris is the whale excretion that's washed up on shore that's found and collected and used in perfumery. Um, it turns out to be like this round kind of like a, uh, what do you call it, a rock or stone and, and it looks kind of gross but um, that's basically what ambergris is. Uh, so since it's so expensive and very really difficult to find, they have ambroxan. But ambroxan is a very long lasting, very complex note on its own. In fact, there are several fragrances that use this note on its own to create a whole perfume. So basically, it's ambroxan, and that's all you're wearing, and it's a perfume on its own. And more on that later, I'm going to tell you about the five fragrances that are ambroxan heavy, as I mentioned. So I find ambroxan to have the characteristics of musk, amber, salt, and woody notes all rolled, rolled into my, to one. So I experience ambroxan to be musky, ambery, salty, and of course very, very woody. The other thing is I find ambroxan to be very choppy and also very coarse. Like the experience or the wearing experience is like more like wood shavings rather than something very, very smooth like ISOE Super, which is um, sandalwood and um, sandalwood and uh, cedar and sandalwood combination and something like Javanol, which is also a synthetic molecule that smells like sandalwood. Uh, so, if you know about these notes, then you know what I'm talking about. But ambroxan is typically used as a base note in fragrances. So that's basically pretty much what ambroxan is. In fact, it's discovered or, you know, from the 1950s. I feel as though in the 2010s, ambroxan started becoming used a lot more, a lot more. But the very first fragrance I'm going to talk to you about today is the Eccentric Molecules Molecule 2 in this particular bottle right here. So this fragrance, which also comes as an Eccentric O2, this one right here, uh, features ambroxan and molecule 2 is only and nothing but ambroxan and it is th one of those fragrances I said it's so complex the ambroxan note that they have an actual fragrance that only uses this one synthetic molecule as a fragrance so with this one and along its uh, with its partner the eccentric O2 definitely uses ambroxan but the eccentric 2 has additional notes to complement or comp that complements the ambroxan note with this one you've got ISOE Super, you've got Ambroxan of course, you've got Iris and Jasmine, but if you're simply going to go with the very minimalistic fragrance Molecule 2, then all you're going to be wearing is Ambroxan. And as I was saying, 
I don't find Ambroxan to be smooth. I've heard people say it's very smooth and creamy, but for me, the wearing experience is very choppy and coarse, as I said. It's not, it's like grounds, finely grounds, but it's not smooth and creamy and milky. It's more ground and granular. So that's the experience I get with this one, but it is slightly salty, slightly woody, very musky uh, combination of a fragrance. So if you are, if you like a minimalistic fragrance with not too much going on, let's say for example, you work in an office environment and you gotta keep your fragrance low or down, then um, not without too much jumping out, this is the kind of fragrance I would wear. But be warned, sometimes these fragrances, um, not only you can be anosmic to it, meaning you can't smell it because I've had that issue come up with some of these notes. Uh, but you can also kind of like develop a very interesting smell when it combines with your body chemistry. So uh, for example, some people might be very sensitive to it when it's combined with your own body chemistry or they can actually be anosmic to it or you can be anosmic to it. So get some samples to try it out. Uh, speaking mostly about the Molecule 2, this is a very unique concoction. It's still sort of minimalistic but still has some stuff going on with it because it also has the ISOE Super and the Iris and Jasmine. But if you like that minimalistic smell, as I said, try Molecule 2. It's all about Ambroxan and it's pleasant. Uh, this is, as I said, not as smooth and uh, creamy as uh, the uh, Molecule 1, which is probably the most popular in this series. And of course, Javanol, uh, the Molecule 4, which uses the Javanol. Uh, but still, it's a great one. It's musky. It's, it's also very sexy, especially when it blends with your body chemistry. So that is Molecule 2. Next, another one that you should also know about that uses this Ambroxan note is another 13 from the house of um, Le Labo. Now, I didn't put down dates, but I'll put the dates along with the titles of these fragrances when I'm putting, talking to you about them. But this one, again, it's Ambroxan and also with uh, the notes of oak moss, jasmine, and ambrette seeds. In fact, this one has a lot more going on with it. And when I wear it, I sort of can't smell myself, and this is where that anosmia comes in. And anosmia basically means you're you're not smelling. There's you're something you're not anosmic to a fragrance, which you can't or, or notes or specific uh, accords or notes that you can't pick up or smell. But when I smell this on somebody else, it is very very sexy. It's probably. It reminds me a little bit of um, Baccarat Rouge, and I wanted to feature Baccarat Rouge here, but Baccarat Rouge uses ambergris rather than ambroxan, so I left that off. But definitely here we have the ambroxan, and again, ambroxan is a synthetic recreation of ambergris, which is very expensive. But this one's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Under there, there's also some uh, fruity notes, the jasmine and the ambrette seeds. Um, I think the ambrette seed is what's creating that kind of fruity accord. I, I get kind of like apples, uh, but there's just a gorgeous scent. And this one is a little more complex than just wearing straightforward Ambroxan, and, uh, but uh, with along with the heavy dose of Ambroxan and the, the other notes, as I mentioned, it creates for a very, very sexy experience. Again, it's quite minimalistic. You just gotta be warned. Sometimes when, I mean, I've heard from people saying, oh, I, I, I bought that fragrance, I can't smell anything. Same with a few of the other fragrances I'm gonna to talk to you about. It's because it's not that you can't smell anything, and I've had this happen to myself. When I first tried Molecule One, I was anosmic to it, I couldn't smell it. Kept trying it and trying and trying it multiple times later is when I started smelling it. And now it's very strong for me. But it's just your nose has to be trained and you will, you know, get past the anosmia. Anyway, Le Labo, another 13. It is on the pricier side. In fact, I think this is probably the priciest out of the five fragrances I'm going to talk to you about. But it is very, very gorgeous. And again, blended with somebody's body chemistry, I'm smelling it off of them. Uh, it's quite sexy. Anyway, that's one for you to try. Uh, this next one, there are two versions of it. There's Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume, and then Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume, Superdose. This one just came out uh, late last year. This has been around for quite a bit. Um, uh, this is a little pricier. This is about $140. And with this one, it uses Cetalox, which is basically another word for Ambroxan. It's a proprietary a cre recreation of Ambroxan by a firm called Furmanich. So, for me, this is 
ultra ultra minimalistic it's so minimalistic and blended with your body chemistry things will come about but it is after all very very uh, heavy on the ambroxan this is all although much heavier than this and I'm gonna get to this in a little bit but a lot of people say they can't smell this one uh, absolutely cannot but my experience with this one again it's like a granular woody ambery musky kind of experience but very very minimalistic it's uh, minimalistic it's in fact ultra minimalistic but when you go to the super dose if you if you absolutely cannot smell anything with this one and you've tried it over and over and over again you've had a bottle that still can't smell it try the super dose because this one is like ultra stronger like so much stronger and it's also very very sexy this one uh, I think basically whatever you have in the original not a perfume ambroxan is just amplified and to the max so let's say for example they have 10% um, ambroxan in, in not a perfume super dose and I'm not 100% sure what the numbers are they've increased it like doubled it or tripled the uh, amount of ambroxan that's in here because if you can't smell anything here you certainly can smell a lot here it's a lot more muskier there are the salty kind of notes of the ambroxan uh, which is you know when you think about ambroxan being salty then that's the correct way to smell ambroxan because it is after all a reinterpretation of uh, ambergris which is found in the sea so there's saltiness there so i do get lots of saltiness here in fact blended with my own sweat it does get a little saltier there's some ambery touches but again it's very granular granular and kind of like a finely chopped or coarse uh, into uh, a woody powder because it's a very 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 woody experience for me. Ambroxan is very very woody even though it's inspired by ambergris and ambergris is not woody so it's interesting that I, I, I experienced that like that with uh, this particular note but it's a great scent. I love this one. If I want something very very minimalistic but I want it to be stronger I definitely go with the super dose. Now if uh, my nose is like burnt out I'm tired and I don't want a lot of smells except for something to blend with my body chemistry or my sweat and make a scent of its own this is what I would go for. Again these are all very minimalistic fragrances. You've got to be warned. Test them out to see if they work for you. Um, otherwise you know you're gonna probably say oh my god that can't smell anything which I've I've received many messages and comments of my reviews for both of those fragrances more on the original not a perfume people say they can't smell anything they've tried it and worn it many times but give it a try I mean it's very minimalistic I, I do agree this next one's from the house of Dior it's Sauvage this is probably um, what really put um, Ambroxan on the map for designers and I think ever since this it could be maybe a few other fragrances before this but I think this one really did put it on the map and a lot of designers use Ambroxan now in fact a lot of niche houses use it it's just a very very um, popular note it's out there a lot and this one to me it's uh, just all Ambroxan and lots of bergamot and little hints of Sichuan pepper but I think it's very, very rough and aggressive. Uh, if you like the idea of saltiness, if you like the idea of amberness, and if you like the idea of like choppy, coarse woodiness, this, this one is to the max because compared to the EDP and the Parfum, uh, which uh, is a lot more classier, this one is very, very aggressive and it's really rough around the edges. So you do experience that experience, but it has a huge cloud all that good stuff so if you like it big and massive then go with the original it is I mean it's a good designer release it's nothing in, in groundbreaking because it's using lots of ambroxan but I think uh, a lot of people like ambroxan because uh, once it connects or you know mixes with somebody's body chemistry there's a sexiness about it and people tend to love that smell it's not overly groundbreaking as I said it's not overly interesting it's just something easy to wear again this version here the EDT is a lot more rough around the edges compared to the Parfum or the EDP anyway Sauvage is another one for you to try even though it's for men I think women can totally get away with it I mean it's it's ambroxan after all with some citruses and spices and last but not least I don't know what by the house of DS and Durga and this one actually goes a little more complex even though it's a, still a very minimalistic fragrance and it's also uh, a fragrance to be uh, used as a primer so you put it on first and then you spray um, other fragrances on top but this one does use Ambrox Super Ambroxan and it also uses ISOE Super. There's a lot of different notes in there. There's some bergamot, there's some civet, a civetone, which is a, a, a synthetic a recreation of um, 
civet and a few other things but a gorgeous gorgeous scent it's so beautiful i love this on its own i think this is the most complex compared uh, along with the dior as far as the smell goes uh just on its own it's very beautiful sexy musky but nothing big it doesn't have this big cloud or anything like that it's very personal fragrance if you want someone to smell you and recognize your smell or, or smell something off of you needs to get really close to you to smell you it doesn't have that huge projection but blending it with a you know you know your own chemistry there's this muskiness that appears it's just really really beautiful um i don't know if this one is popular or not but on its own it's great especially when it's really hot outside because the first time i experienced it was in humid weather and it really really came alive and i kept going back to it over and over again so it is lots of ambrox um, ambroxan and of course there's lots of isoe super so those are both kind of combined together it sort of goes into the direction of eccentric molecules too but they're not the same in fact i prefer this one over eccentric molecule too and also the fact that you can layer things on top of it to create your own unique uh, fragrance because it is after all called a fragrance primer. Anyway, those are some uh, suggestions for Ambroxan uh, dominant fragrances. And of course, what Ambroxan smells like. Guys, are you fans of this note? Do you like this note? And did you know what Ambroxan was or is? If you are a fan and if you have favorite fragrances from this particular synthetic note, please put some comments down so that I find out. Also, as mentioned, if you are interested in uh, specific uh, topic videos, you can send emails to lfsgquestions at gmail.com and then I'll get to your videos as soon as possible. Do you like the idea of this more like glossary type of videos where I profile a specific glossary, perfume glossary term and then uh, give you suggestions of uh, several fragrances as well? If you like that idea, I would do many more. Of course, we should probably do amber agree because you know you don't have ambroxan if you didn't have ambergris uh, but this one is a question that was asked to me much more than what ambergris was anyway guys thanks so much for watching this video please like this video please share it follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and i'll be back with more videos very soon have a good one goodbye <laughs>